all about putting the trim around the man door today and putting some more metal siding on the front of the building. Please come along for today's video and welcome back to the Woodland Reboot. To finish the work on this corner of the building, I need to head up with my chainsaw and square up some pieces up top, and then I have to add some additional blocking up there to make that corner square. Well, I don't know if you can see it there. I really beat the daylights out of this piece of trim. I've learned a couple lessons in terms of how to install it. And I'll install the next few pieces better. This is going to get painted and I can touch that up. But still, I did not expect to abuse it as badly as I just did. So that's a lesson learned. I'm cutting the trim pieces on my miter saw station inside the shop. So far that's a little bit better. I'll come back in the warmer weather and use a uh, punch to set those down a little bit, hit it with some putty and then do some painting. But uh, for the next few months it'll look a little, a little rough. I'm now going to take a quick break from this video by jumping to an activity I did yesterday with my daughter in Ottawa. It's something that everybody can do if they ever visit Ottawa in the winter months and the season's been good for uh, making ice. Hey everyone, it's Peter from The Reboot. I'm not at the property, I'm on Canada's largest or longest skateway here in Ottawa. I don't know if you guys can see all the way down there, you can see the skateway goes that way. And if my friendly camera person turns and scans this way, you can see the skateway heads down or the longest skating rink goes down that way as well. So today holding the camera for me is my lovely daughter. Many of you have seen her. I think she made her appearances in the channel videos doing the foundation. Foundation 1, 3, and 4. So Phoebe's on her reading week right now, so she's here back at home in Ottawa. We've come out on this beautiful Friday and we're enjoying this skating rink adventure. So what I think I'll do now is I'll take you back to the Reboot property and I believe what I'm going to be showing you for the rest of this video is footage of me blocking the frame around the man door and then putting the metal work, sorry, the, uh, the metal siding up around the door. So hope you enjoy this little break out here on Canada's longest skateway called the Rideau Canal in Ottawa. And now back to the video at the Reboot property. Alright. Well, the second two pieces went in better than that first one. I really made a mess of that first one. I bought these pieces of 1x4 pine, it's already primed, that's the white color on there, at Home Hardware, it's a hardware store here in Canada, and as you can see I think it worked quite well in trimming the door frame, so now let's move on to preparing the metal trim around the doorway. 
Well, everyone, I'm not so sure they want to take credit for the work done by someone like me, but, but I don't know how to do any of this metal work. I'm just learning by doing, and I think I'm doing an okay job, but obviously not up to professional standards. What I do know concerning this metal work, I've essentially been learning by watching guys like uh, Kyle on RR Buildings. Um, so an indirect way for me to say, well, perhaps not so indirect, I really would like to thank Kyle and his team for all they do with their channel. I had it in mind to get underway with this kind of build for several years. And uh, while of course I have my own motivation and reason for wanting to do it, watching Kyle and the boys on RR Buildings, and especially Kyle's messages about give it a shot, um, as well as the message that he's putting out there that you too can do this, um, inspired me to, uh, help to inspire me to move forward and get this. So I don't know if you can see it here, but I've cut this piece here so that when I do put in that top piece of trim, it'll be cut a little bit long. It'll come and overlap this piece here, allowing for any water that gets in there to drip down onto this metal and down and not get in behind here. And again, that is something that, of course, I learned by watching uh, Kyle on RR Buildings. And so if um, you didn't see it earlier in my video, great big thanks from me to people like Kyle and RR Buildings, their channel, uh, helping DIYers like me gain the confidence to be able to do this kind of work on a build like this. this one tacked in here. I'm attaching the trim with one inch roofing nails. I've been putting off finishing this front side of the building is just because of all of this trim work, this metal trim work. It is uh, something, again, like I've said, I'm not uh, very good at doing. I've not done it very often. And as I've mentioned, I've been learning it by watching channels like RR Buildings. So it's been easier for me to continue on with things like putting on wainscoting and other chores and tasks around the building site. So I had to bite this bullet, dive in, and uh, get this trim work done to be able to finish the metal siding on the front side of this building. With the metal trim in place I can now get back to getting some of this metal siding on this wainscoting and what I've done here is I've taken my measurement uh, on that piece that uh, on the left side of the man door facing the building. I've got my sheet here, I've measured it out and now I'm uh, completing the line and I'm going to grab my Malco shear that attaches to my drill driver and start cutting that in a second. It takes a little bit of effort doing these sheets on the front wall because almost each one is bespoke. So because of all of the work around the doors, um, I have to measure, cut, and punch each sheet as opposed to punching up to seven at a time going down the long walls because they're all identical and they go up so quickly. I'm wearing the DeWalt radio headphones that my wife bought me for my birthday. Love these things. I'm able to pretty much listen to NPR much of the day while I'm working out here on my own and uh, keep up with things and listen to some pretty good uh, talk shows on current events.
This is the divider trim that goes between the red and gray sheets. I love my winters, but it's getting a little heavy in terms of the work required to keep all this snow under control and manage it. I spent again another part of the morning just moving snow out of the way and getting to the project that I had hoped to start earlier today just now, just after lunch. So what's on tap right now is that I need to be able to carry the wainscoting, the gray here, to the corner. Now to get the corner piece ready, I need to put in that um, trim piece that goes from the base all the way to the top corner where the soffits are going to be. But the problem is that my upper corner is not square. It's got uh, the beam where the trusses meet and one of the two by tens up there doesn't quite come to the corner and one actually protrudes too far. So I got to get up there with my chainsaw, trim one out, but then also build up part of the corner as well. I had some terrible audio with this clip, so I've had to uh, kill it and uh, do a voice over here. And so what I'm going to explain to you right now is that the problem that I'm showing you here is the lineup or lining up of the ribs on the sheets, the reds and the grays matching them up perfectly. So what I've got a problem here that I'm about to explain is that I put the grays on below believing that that red sheet there was lined up to the corner of the doorway and it's not lined up to the corner, it's actually about an inch to an inch and a half short of where I thought it was going to be lining up. And that means that the next red sheet that will have about a two inch cut in it will come down and meet the gray sheets and the ribs from the red and the gray will not be aligned and they'll be off alignment by about an inch and a half. So what I need to do is remove the gray sheets to my right there that I'm referring to and uh, trim them back, trim the first sheet back about an inch and a half and it'll make up for that variance up top that I'm touching right there. So I've got to go back a little bit to go forward and that's okay. I'm, it's part of my process, it's part of the learning that I'm doing as I'm building this project and uh, take a little bit of extra time but that's the activity now. So what I think I'm going to do first of all if we see it there in the shot, is that I'm going to go up there and uh, trim out that corner, trim it back and then build it up so that it can receive that trim corner piece that allows me to then run the lower wainscoting to the corner correctly. And that, what that does, the whole idea here is that that gets me ready so I can start the wainscoting down this long side here. That'd be good.
Okay, with the top corner there trimmed, at, trimmed back and squared up, I can now remove these two sheets of wainscoting so I can remeasure and cut this sheet here that's behind me so that the ribs are in line with the red pieces up top. All right, let's take this panel inside and trim it up. I have to take off three quarters of an inch. I want to be able to arrive at this building and look at my work knowing that it's of a decent quality, but a quality that I'll be happy with and that every time I open the door I won't be looking at various items, be it the alignment of the ribs, trim around the door, something to do with the garage door, wishing I had done a little bit better. So I'm going to take my time, I'm going to take pride in my work, and I'm going to try to do uh, as good a job as I can even if it means undoing some things every now and then. Okay, I'm getting this trim piece on. I forgot to film it right from the start. I just forgot to hit the on button on the camera. Happy with that. All tight underneath there. Can't see the edge, it's underneath the trim piece here. So that's a 
That's a good one. Okay. Now to put on that trim piece here. Let's see how long we need. So I've just cut the trim piece inside with you guys that separates the wainscoting. Wainscoting, that's the gray panels down below with the red panels up above. Let's see if I measure it right. Oh yeah, I'm pleased with that. With this in place, the trim place, trim piece in place, and especially the corner in place, the corner trim, I'm now set up to be able to head down this other long wall and start putting the wainscoting pieces in place. I appreciate you for coming around to watch this video today. If you like what you see, please subscribe, like, and share. Hit that notification button, and also leave a few comments. Hopefully they're nice ones, but leave a few comments. Like I said, guys and gals, I really appreciate the fact that you're watching and enjoying some of these videos. Take care. And there's the brown dog named Blue as usual, steadfastly sticking it out with me here at the property. Blue, do you have anything to say today? Anything interesting? Oh, I'd like to go and smell some snow over here. <laughs>